Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before I begin, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahusha Ba'ashim, Rokar Kadash, the Mons of the Apostles, the Mons of the Elders, and Great Millstone rule well and times his truth. Much respect to you, brothers out there, just preaching his word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Tabernacle David, hopeful elect, and the speckled bird of one say Shalom. So let's get into this lesson. Uh, I got these uh, damn bug outs, man. Carnal as Israelites. And uh, those of our people that are wise, they're not going to follow after them. But we understand that you got to have dumb Israelites <laughs> in this walk, man. A lot of them are met to have the uh, ministry blame. Chief Ephraim, Wi-Fi. What was it? Wi-Fi of uh, Chicago. They out of order, man. Over here, Carnal as hell. Our job is to sit back and preach his word. Keep the law, such his commandments to the best of our ability. Watch, pray, minister unto brothers, unto the brotherhood. And just preach his word. And pretty much at the end of the day, he's, he's sit back and eat some popcorn and, and watch these prophecies pop off. But nah, man, that's that's not good for these for these uh false prophets, man. Once again, we understand that the ministry must be blamed in some shape, form, or another. And these dudes are just part of it, man. They just they just playing their role of the movie, whether whether they're agents or not. They just ain't all the way there, man. So they just playing their role. And the elect, the hopeful elect, is going to play our role, man. All right? So, hey, if you in these other camps, man. Hey. The Lord, Lord, Lord most likely has some of the elect in some of these other camps. But, you know, we believe that a lot of them is going to wake up out of that madness. But, hey, some of these leaders, man, they, they, they showing their horns, man. Let's go ahead and get some scriptures. Second Timothy 3 and verse 7. Every learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. You've been in this truth for a long time and you still choking, choking on the milk. You know, all these scriptures and all the deep mysteries. <laughs> well, some of them. Because a lot of these other dudes, they, they choking. They choking on the MOTB. You had Wi-Fi. Well, do a five-hour lesson on the MOTB. It don't take no damn five hours to break down the MOTB. All right? Hey, matter of fact, the scriptures speak of let your yay be yay and your nay be nay. <laughs> Not this long, drawn out. <laughs> That's pretty much what they were doing with the with the MOTB, man. I'm trying to explain that it, explain what it is. It is what it is. All right? The sea hill. Which goes to show you more and more, the Lord is the Lord is exposing that the that these dudes do not have it. Now, as Janus and Jimbris withstood Moses, so these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. You see, corrupt minds reprobates. That's pretty much what they are. They they are against. They're pretty much against this ministry, man. And they're going to, uh, a lot of them, however the Lord sets it up, a lot of them may be the ones to set up for this ministry to be blamed. Because they walk in carnally. they walking after their own hearts. they doing whatever they want to do. 2 Timothy 3 and verse 9. But they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifested unto all men, as theirs also was, you see. It's like D. Howard and <laughs> Dwight Howard. All right. Hey, everything is being manifested. Whether you see it or not, it's being manifested. Who are the true men of the Lord? Or when we those men, we're going to keep on walking this walk. And it's being manifested. Who are the false prophets? Who are carnal as hell? <laughs> Who's who's walking after their own heart? All right. Let's see. Um, but thou has fully known my doctrine. 
manner of life, purpose of faith, long suffering, charity, patience. A lot of these attributes is what these are false prophets are like. See, patience, they they over there. Man, you can see clear as day that they like patience. Over there trying to get involved, trying to rouse up the people. Man, our job is to preach this word. And the water y'all by Shemel shout for order. All right. Because I remember down here when those riots were going on for Breonna Taylor. Listening to the apostles and elders and just the spirit in general was on me like, man, don't don't be around those riots. Move your camp spot. But now nah, these these dudes, they want to be seen of men. They want their praise of men. Well, you got you have your consolation. You have your consolation. All right. Let's see. Um, persecution, afflictions. Which came unto me at Antioch and Lyceum and Listeria. What persecutions I endured. But out of all of them. But out of them all. The Lord delivered me. You see. Because we understand persecution is going to come. And we pray to the Lord that we keep the faith. You see a lot of time. Hey, I believe a lot of these dudes. When persecution comes. They going to fail. You over there, you, you want to be seen a man. You want to go into those rights. Want to say that we got back up these dudes. No, our job is just to preach this word. So, you know, persecution comes upon y'all. You're going to see that the Lord wasn't dealing with y'all. <laughs> Yay. And all that will live godly in the Mashiach Yahweh shall suffer persecution. You see that? We we'll understand it's going to come some shape, form, or another. It's just part of the walk. Easier said than done, but it is part of the walk. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. You see, they waxing worse and worse and worse. It's being shown. Whether you believe it or not, true men and Lord are being shown, and false prophets are being shown. All right? But continue thou in all things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Continue in this faith, man. What you have learned, learn not to be carnal. The riots or, or commotion is at your camp spot. Move to a different camp spot, man. All right, what the MOTB is and, and that you got to endure to the end. These dudes, they, they walk in that they... Of after their own hearts to be seen of men. All right. And it's being shown that they are not the true men of the Lord. Romans 16 and verse 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause the divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. You see, avoid these dudes. Why? Because they do not have it. They're not all the way there in the head. <laughs> For they that are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Amashiach, but their own belly, but of good words and fair speeches, deceive the hearts of the simple. You see, the simple is going to be deceived. The simple is going to walk after those niggas, man. Follow after they lead, man. Being all carnal as hell. It's all good, man. This is uh, Matthew 10 and verse 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. That's our job, man. Sit back, relax, just preach the word. Endure to the end to the best of your ability. Minister unto brothers. Give, give them this knowledge. But Jake want to make it more complicated than what it needs to be. They, they want to be in the midst of things. All right. Our time is coming when the Lord blows that trumpet. When the Lord cracks that sky, our time is coming. Right now, just have patience, sit back. All right. Let me get these, uh, for the sake of time, I'm going to get these scriptures closed out. Romans 8 and verse 5. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, 
after this uh but they after the spirit the things of the spirit there's a there's a difference man the lord is showing you these dudes wafa chief ephraim though and company they carnal the lord willing us starting with elder apostle to hold on down we after the spirit and we walking in the spirit for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because carnal mind is enmity is against Yahweh Bashmel Shah, against power, for it's not subject to the law of power, neither indeed can be. So then they that are after they that are in the flesh cannot please power. But ye are not of the flesh, but in the spirit. So if so be that the spirit of power dwelleth in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Mashiach, he is none of his. You see, he is none of his. And it's going to be manifested. You know, at least these dudes repent. At least these dudes do a, a 360. They're none of his. They're none of his, man. Why? Because they're carnal. They're walking after their they, they flesh. They're doing whatever they want to do. They want to be seen of men. So, Lord willing, it's edifying. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim El Shah, Bashim Karkadash, and Wa'abababashalom.